I have the power! Did someone say moist? I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make gyros, chicken gyros. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. First up, we're gonna need some chicken, and I grabbed some Maryland pieces off Gippsland Premium Meats. And good old Mick was kind enough to debone these and leave the skin on as requested. Just another reason why I always say go and kiss your local butcher. I mean, get to know them. Time to make some marinade up. <laughs> Into a bowl, add some garlic, tomato paste, some vinegar, oh, lemon juice, some oil, Greek yogurt, dried oregano, sweet paprika, salt and pepper. Mix it up real good. Now just pop the chicken in the container. Now just add the marinade. Now just mix this up so every piece of chicken gets covered. And ideally you want to pop this in the fridge overnight, but if you don't have time for that, go make a hot dog. Or you could prepare this in the morning and cook it up later that day. Give it at least six hours to soak up some of that tasty goodness if you can't wait overnight. Time to prep the rotisserie. And instead of the standard spikes on a rotisserie, Today, we're gonna to be using these Euro discs. To stack the chicken on the rotisserie, it's easy as fold, stab, and slide, and repeat. And then just cap it off with the other Euro disc. Now just pop this aside while we get the barbecue ready. Today, I'm gonna to be using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle, and I'm gonna be pairing it up with a rotisserie and charcoal baskets, because I wanna be cooking at temps of 220 to 240 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll do that is by filling a charcoal starter with unlit charcoal, lighting it up. Once it's all lashed over, I'll put my two charcoal baskets on the charcoal grill, and dump them in. Then using an old pair of tongs, I'm just gonna move the charcoal baskets to either end of the charcoal grey. Don't forget your drip tray for all the fat. Pop the rotisserie ring in, and then just slide the rotisserie shaft into place, and then turn one button on, just to get our chicken nice and dizzy. Pop the lid on, opening the vent, and make sure that lid vent's on one side of our meat. So we can leave that alone for about an hour and a half before we start checking it. Today I'm cooking with a high indirect heat of 220 to 240 degrees Celsius. And all up, this cook's gonna take about an hour and a half before we can start trimming off some of that crunchy goodness. Or, for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a three beer cook. This would be a great time to subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button will allow you to be notified every time I spin my chicken. Look at the crusty, gnarly bits of flavor just begging to be sliced off. So it's over 74 degrees, so we can get it out now and start slicing it up. So we're just gonna pull the shaft out and put it over a big pan. So we just need to slice off the outer charred bits. So we're just gonna place the rotisserie back in place and create some more charred goodness. That's it, just keep trimming off more every 15 to 20 minutes. Into some pita bread, we'll add some tomato and some onion and some of our tasty chicken and then top this with some tzatziki sauce. To make this meal that good, it should be illegal. Mm. As always, cheers for watching.